Well hello and an extremely warm welcome back to the channel and today's the day I get to have a go with the R174 Rural Rambler set. Now this is something I've been looking forward to running and I know a few of you left some positive comments about wanting to see this set so I'm really looking forward to getting it out and showing it to you. Now also I've managed to get from my favourite online tool supplier a couple of suitable batteries for the power controller so we're not going to have any mains electricity powering this set it's going to be just the set and two batteries just the way it should have been when it was given to someone all those years ago now before we get into that um, it's time to look at a couple more items so we can perhaps choose which is going to be next on the train set table <coughs> Please excuse me, I seem to have come down with a bit of a winter snuffle or hopefully nothing more than that. Um, so there might be the odd cough or croak. Um, I hopefully we'll get through showing you these items though. Look at this, Clockwork Train Set RS2. Do you want to see this next on the train set table? Look, we've got some beautiful, this, that's Super 4 that is, I don't know whether I can just pick a bit out. Unfortunately the cellophane is missing from the box, let's see whether the camera will focus in on that. Quite nice condition isn't it, lovely bright rails, don't think that's ever been clipped together. And indeed it doesn't look like the keys have ever been removed, so at some point it lost its cellophane window but these contents look just original yeah. wedged firmly in the tray so I'm not going to pull them out just now but a clockwork train set that can be converted to electric later so that's the first one to choose from and secondly it's not really a set but it's a train pack now there's a bit of cellophane here um, crunching that can affect sound levels so I'm just going to Stop speaking for a minute and move it around. OK, look at that great picture on the front there. There's the blue Hymek and some Freightliner wagons or trucks as it's described up here where it says model electric train diesel locomotive and three Freightliner trucks. Well that's a lovely pack for someone to have received and um, I'm not going to get these out either just yet but there's the powerful blue Hymek and three quite nice looking Freightliner wagons and here's the instructions just to give you an idea there's uh, TO 645 20th of the second 68 so 1968 let's just put the lid back on so I wonder which of these two you'd like I wonder which of these two you'd like to see first they're both quite nice Hor Triang Hornby items this time we're um, giving the Hornby 00 a miss this time but I'm sure that next time we choose sets one will perhaps find its way in so I'm really excited to read about your recollections with these models and maybe if you have a preference of which one you'd like to see running first. Obviously this one will be on the Super 4 main lines but uh, it will run really well on there I bet. Okay well this set I'm looking forward to getting this out so let's just clear those other two out of the way and have a peer through the box. Right, well let's see if I can get into this. I'll just move the batteries to one side. As I said before, when it was shown, £11 from a Northamptonshire model shop, or Northampton model shop, CAB models. I know I've mentioned them before. Uh, and here's a catalogue. Well, I'm not going to go right through this with my croaky voice, but we will see if we can find the relevant page. I've selected it by putting that paperwork in the way and look here we are here, look there's two really nice little sets here there's an R680 pickup good set which I don't have and this 
R174 Rural Rambler set. You can see the contents all put out there. Now I think um, we'll just look at this other page. We'll perhaps go through this another day. But uh, some of these wagons look a little bit like the London Transport set that I had uh, selected some time ago. But there's absolutely some beautiful items in here. Um, there's a Freight Master set that's got a green version of the Hymec. And then over the page, more sets. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, we'll definitely take a look through this catalogue um, at some future time. So I'll put that out of the way. So we do have a little bit of um, paperwork in the box. There's a International Service Dealer Network 48th edition, so wherever you are in the world, help there finding someone to mend your items. Um, this looks good. Introduction, train set operating instructions. Um, we might refer to these when I put the batteries in. I'm probably going to put the batteries in off the camera because I think there's some disassembly required of the controller. So I'll put that to one side and look here. Here's the the instruction leaflet which says R174. Um, let's see if I can hold that more steady. 16th of the 5th 1977. So there's that. Looks like the Sutherland there. We've seen that on the main lines before. So what else is in the box? Well look here's that tunnel that's never been folded so I'm probably going to keep that as it is. It's been folded over on one side but it's never been clipped into the tunnel ends. Lovely bit of brickwork there. And here's the contents. So we've got the Rural Rambler, a little 040 with a can motor, three beautiful four-wheel coaches in a sort of Caledonian blue. In fact, I might have had these coaches out of this set. I think when I I repaired a little Caledonian pug for someone maybe a year or so ago, and I might have run these behind it. Got a recollection that I had borrowed those. Um, and System 6 track, and this is the Austrian track, so there's no... Let's just have a look at that. There's no half-sleeper ends there. But really nice condition, doesn't look like it's ever been plugged together. Little bit of deterioration of the plating, so we'll see how it runs. I'm not going to touch it, I'm just going to clip it together and see if the battery copes with that. We've got an uncoupling ramp still with its rubber band around it, some straights and the all important battery controller, a couple of tunnel ends. So a few items and it's going to be quite good fun to run this. So I'm just going to switch the camera off and slot these batteries into the power pack. There they go. Um, let's just arrange them and see I think that's how it's going to be. Let me just pick this out and show you. There's some slots underneath there, which I believe those springs are going to slip into. I mean, imagine if this was fully functional. There's all sorts of um, interesting auxiliary switches and gauges on here. I could imagine that as a young person, you'd be really thinking you were operating a powerful steam loco. Um, there's a power clip. I wonder if they've supplied some wire. Um, let's just have a look. Okay, well that's quite interesting, isn't it? Maybe the wires... Oh yes, the wires inside the controller. Right, I'll be right back and hopefully we'll be getting this running. Okay, well I hope you can see that I'm attempting to fit the batteries and I've been reading all the instructions and to my eyes it seems that the the coils on these new batteries are much tighter wound than maybe the ones in the 1970s um, and even if I try and, and I've tried to pull them up and engage it that's not going to be a great success so rather than bending the coils or anything. I've been and got some 
split pins from the workshop. I'm going to thread these through and route them just to make a better contact with this printed circuit board. I could imagine if the spring had a greater diameter it would be easy just to pull them through and wedge them in but I'm just going to use these pins. So let's see how they fit. I'll be back with you just in a second. OK, well maybe you can see how I've put those split pins in and they seem to be making contact. The little loco is on the track and just looking at this controller I've got two choices in each direction, half and full. So I'm just going to put this on. OK, so there doesn't seem to be anything happening. I'll just move the loco in case I'm on a bit of dirty track. And indeed, look, movement. Now it's jerking a bit. Let's see if I can reverse it. Now I think the track's playing up a little bit, but let's see, it's going to have a high speed couple. And we are indeed at half power, and the coupling ramp has done its job, the uncoupling ramp, sorry. So back again. Oh wow, well, there is full. Crazy, so I'm going to see if I can reduce this slightly. And there is our other speed setting. Maybe I should give the track a bit of a clean, I don't know. There's a few small hesitations here and there, and I think that's down to the the plating on the track. Let's just try and reverse back into those coaches. Let's see if we can reverse around the layout. The uncoupling ramp doing a rather good job there. I wonder how much running time a person would get from these two batteries. Let's see if we can reverse at full speed. This could be a bit tricky. Oh my goodness! Crazy action. But they seem to be rolling around quite nicely on this Austrian track. Silver seal type wheels on the coaches. OK, I'm going to attempt now to I can't keep up with this. Oh, we've lost the coach. Right, let's see if I can reverse at half speed, maybe. No. OK, well, it's stopped. I think I'm going to give the track a bit of a clean. I'll just go over it with um, a cleaner and see whether we get any better running. So I'll be back with you in a second. Right, I've got the loco and the coaches back on. A little bit of track cleaning, not too much, just um, see whether I could get the oxidisation off. And there we go. So we've hopefully coupled on to that loose coach and a few... It's just the odd little... little sort of um, hiccup, but it's not too bad. Right, let's get to the controller and try and... I want that on half speed. So we've survived the uncoupling ramp. One complete circuit. Well, I'm fairly happy with that because this is the lowest setting on the little battery controller. Some real hesitation there. Let's take a look. That bit of track is quite... That might need it. It's gone really black actually, hasn't it? Very dark colour. But look at this, 1977. I haven't done a thing to that loco. A little... Oh, we've lost our coach. Quick. Let's get that. Ooh, too much speed. So yeah, 1977 straight out of the box. It's got a little can motor in it, this loco. But it's still working beautifully after all those years in storage. 
Well, I've had good fun getting this out, but I guess there's a question now. I don't know whether you know what I'm perhaps thinking. But I think I've got to try and plug this battery controller into the Super 4 mainline and see whether I can get a complete circuit of the Super 4 mainline with this battery controller. It's just uh, an experiment that's got to be done. And I think now's a good time. Oh, that really is quite a hesitation there. Now's a good time before I take the best out of the batteries. So you can see how nicely this little 040 and its three coaches go on the set, the track out of the set box, the Austrian system, uh, Austrian system six track. So let's see now whether the batteries have got enough capacity to send this all the way around one of the Triang Super 4 main lines. OK, well, welcome back to the main lines. Here's the battery controller with its Heath Robinson connections. I'm going to make some better little pieces of um, metal to slip over those springs, but not today. I've disconnected the main power and hopefully you can perhaps see I've got the two wires now going into the power clip. So all that remains to be seen is whether I can reverse this and I want to see if I can get the controller into the shot. Oh, and I've selected low power and look at it, it's away. So there's two diamonds this is low 4 O's bravely made its way over those and now we're going around to the back of the layout so long way away from the battery now so there might be a bit of a voltage drop but it's not horrendous is it just see the little loco making its way through the main station now passengers all getting a good look around the main lines so do you think this will come back round now and do one loop? We've got a crossover here. And it's made it over that. A few more points to negotiate. And one more diamond. These 040s don't really like Super 4 diamonds. Here it is, just here. Oh, over and over. Right, we need more speed. Moving back to the batteries. Oh, and away we go. Here it is. Top Triang Hornby Toy Speed. Look at this. I can hardly keep up with it with the camera, but what great fun. Well, I don't think there's any problem with the points and the diamonds at this speed, so I'm going to try and just slow it down fractionally. Let's see what happens. Can it make it round in reverse? Now we've got to bear in mind that this little rural rambler is equipped with a slightly more modern motor. It's a can motor, possibly very similar to the one that would be used in a Skeletric car. So it's not quite as demanding as anything that I usually run. I can see now that I'm getting slightly fascinated with uh, battery power. It's going to make its way round, isn't it? It's just gone over those two diamonds. Dare I try it at full speed in reverse? Let's have a go. Just lots of wheel spin up to speed now will these little silver seal wheel coaches stay on the super four well that's quite extraordinary isn't it let's just uh, slow that down to a more reasonable speed big steps between fast and slow so I don't seem to be able to do it seamlessly 
that really was toy train speed. Okay, will this go reverse over that little diamond? Yeah, I'm going to bring this into the station now. So, I wonder if I can keep the camera running. If I just, uh, I think we've got to do one more experiment before we end this video. Um, let's just see whether I can take the little 040 off. So, what's on the layout? Well, we've got some black fives. The lovely little LNER tank loco. What's along here? Dock shunter. Well, I know that probably won't go over the diamonds. A um, couple of bat Battle of Britons. Need to get those running soon. And here it is. Look, this was on track cleaning duties. A nice old class 37. I think the wheels aren't too dirty. Hope you can see that. They're not mint. Okay, well this is going to be the final experiment of the day. So this will draw every bit the same current as an XO3, XO4. Just see if I can get this on the track. Now I haven't used this for a little while, so... Um, is that bogey on? Powerful magnets in this. I think that's got it. Right, that's there. So, let's see what these Chinese lamp batteries are really made of. So, I think the passengers are quaking in their shoes in those coaches. Let's see if I can do anything. Right, well that seems to be going forward. So that's now reverse. And we do indeed seem to have the powerful Class 37 reversing around the layout. This was serviced and remagnetized about six or eight months ago and I'm pretty sure it was drawing around 0 0.3, 0 0.35 of an amp. So to say I'm surprised to see this going on battery power is an understatement. I really didn't know that this would be quite as smooth as this. Now we're on the lower setting. I'm just going to see whether I can get back round to the controller. Seem to be now getting a little bit engrossed in battery controller. Um, and the video's gone away from the train set video, hasn't it? But never mind, it's toy trains and it's a bit of fun. Let's have some power. Whoa, look at this. They're all going to be on the travel sickness pills, these passengers. Well, there's the powerful Class 37 diesel electric reversing around the Super 4 main lines on battery power. I need to stock up on these batteries maybe. Right, I'm going to slow right down now when this comes around again and see if we can get it going forwards. Well I think uh, ooh, nearly stopped on that diamond. Right, Stop at the station. Anyone wants to get off they can. And let's go on the slowest setting um, in the other direction. There we are, away. OK, well I've had an idea now, so as well as suggesting which of the two sets you might like to see in the next video, how about suggesting one or two locos to see on the Super 4 main lines on battery power? Um, anything perhaps you've seen on the layout? any of your favourite videos. I probably think it might be a bit difficult to run Hornby Double O or Ren Locos but we could always give it a go. So anything you'd like to see while I've still got the battery controller connected, something to start the next video with, um, I welcome suggestions. So we're just coming over that diamond and I think the driver's ready now to open up the class 37 so the mighty power of these two six volt lamp batteries they're just zinc carbon they're not alkaline they're just old-fashioned zinc carbon batteries 
And look at that, we're away. Well, I'm in danger now of having a bit too much fun. Um, I guess I'm only going to be limited by the length of time these batteries will last. But I do want to save them for the next video. So let me just reduce down now to the slower setting. And we'll finish the video just watching this go round the downward main line on battery power. And I look forward to reading the comments about suggestions for the next set and something to run on battery power. But I hope you've uh, enjoyed this set running video and the small diversion into battery running on the main lines. I've had great fun doing this, I didn't intend to, but it's been quite interesting. But right now I think I'm going to finish. So, until the next video, I say goodbye.